All right, first up on the show, it seems to be a boom in demand with online astrology and services. Noida-based AstroTalk has seen their operating revenue for FY24 more than double on a year-on-year -year basis to 651 crores as they have expanded their presence in the domestic and international markets. Anmol Jain is the co-founder and now joins us. Thank you so much for taking time out. Um, Anmol, give us a sense as to what the outlook is because your net profit has more than uh, grown more than tenfold to about 94 crore rupees. Um, what really has led to this and is this just a one-time trend or is this a sense that this big boom in online astrology is going to really bode well for you? It's not a one-off. We are trending at the same rate right now as well. I think what drove the like increase in profitability is just the operational efficiency that we had managed to let's say do like for a tech business our fixed costs are relatively lower and let's say our revenue increases our fixed costs do not increase as much and we were also able to optimize on our major cost heads like astrology payouts and marketing expenses etc so basically economies of scale helped us to let's say, optimize on various cost items as well as you know also, the increase in revenue was, let's say, huge. So we had about a 2.3x increase in revenue. And there was also significant growth internationally. So and the international business operates at a higher gross margin for us. Right. And uh, you've grown your top line by almost six times in the last two years. What kind of projections do you have down the line and what is fueling this growth? I think our top line drivers are... Just as a national and international expansion in the core business. So we are expanding like aggressively abroad in the major English speaking NRI markets or Indian diaspora markets like US, UK, Canada, Middle East. So we are doing like really well there and aggressively expanding. And also we are having a deeper penetration into our existing markets like this is a tier one, Delhi, Mumbai, Bangalore, etc. We have also launched a few regional apps. So we have launched two apps called Jyoti Talk and Jathakam. So these are it's the apps in regional languages, so Tamil and Telugu. So they are also doing well. Like right now, let's say in the month of September, so we are trending at somewhere close to 1100 crores in terms of our return rate. So how exactly does it work? I believe that you operate a revenue sharing model with more than 10,000 active astrologers on your platform. What is the pricing structure and how does it work? Uh, so we have about 20,000 active astrologers working with us on the platform at the moment. So basically, we the astrologer, every astrologer has a different price point. So astrologer's price per minute varies from 10 rupees a minute to about 200 rupees a minute, with the average being about 25 rupees a minute. And uh, basically, yeah, we operate on a revenue sharing model with the astrologer. Basically, the customer pays us and we pay out a certain percentage to the astrologer. So what kind of volume do you currently handle? I understand there's about 4.5 million paid session between the customers and astrologers. Um, what are these consultations mainly related to? Is it career? Is it marriage advice? What about your free sessions? How does that work in terms of the payments? Our majority consultations around are around marriage, relationships, and career, job, etc. With marriage and early relationships or late relationships being the as a major driver. And in terms of paid sessions, so between astrologers and customers, we have about 45 lakh paid sessions every month. And Astrodoc also offers the first chat with the astrologer for free. So we also serve about 60 lakh free sessions every month with an astrologer. So you've raised about $30 million, I understand, so far from investors. Give us a sense as to what your valuation is currently at over the next few years, um, how you will grow and what the IPO plan is. The fundraise was good. We, we have been primarily a bootstrap company so far. So bootstrap and profitable was how we used to define ourselves. And we just raised our first round of money this year, primarily to fuel inorganic acquisitions and have, let's say, a cash pile as we expand abroad internationally, as well as, you know, acquire certain companies in the devotion and spiritual domain. In terms of our IPO plans, we would plan to list on the Indian bourses by the end of 2026. So that's the internal target that we have taken. So by this time next year, we should be filing the DRH. And you're also making some strategic investments in e-commerce, devotional categories. What kind of acquisitions are you looking at and what are the game plan? We are, we are in talks with a couple of companies in the devotion space. So we are looking at let's say, closing one of them by the end of this financial year. 
So that will be in the devotion space. Like I can't give more color on it right now. All right, thank you so much for joining in. If you like this video, then like, share, and subscribe to ET Now.